1170. The answer. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170. The answer. My name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty. Joined as always by Mr. Jason Hall, who's loving his newfound title as co-host extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Love it. Now that the Chargers season's over and they're they're gone, we can forget they're about them gone. and you they're can just gone. be extraordinaire. They're not gone. You don't and, have to be and the Chargers I want the Spanos as we, we talk about this a lot. I want the Spanos to leave. And just allow us to keep the Charger name. That's all we want as Charger fans, as San Diego Charger fans. If they've been here, you know, 50 years. That's all we want. I talked to a lot of people about this. We haven't had new ownership since 84, but how many coaches have we had since 84? How many quarterbacks? How many running backs? It's time to let the Spanos go. They want to be worth two, three, four billion. Go up there, sell their team in LA, do whatever they want to do. Just leave us the San Diego Charger name. That's all I want. Well, what do you want Tom Brady to leave you, Jason? All right. So here's the deal with Tom Brady. Tom Brady is now promoting the reason why he's been such a successful quarterback for 17 years is he's apparently wearing these amazing pajamas. And Under Armour has contracted with them. They've built these infrared pajamas. I was just looking up. I guess they're $80 to $100 for like the top and maybe $80 to $100 for the bottom. So we were probably talking about $150, $200, but you could maybe throw like Tom Brady. And uh, so he's working with Under Armour. He's not the good pitch man that uh, a Peyton Manning is, right, Dave? Yeah. I mean, he's a different different cat, um, but he has an amazing arm. He's got an amazing record in, in the Super Bowl. He's got an amazing, lovely uh, supermodel wife who's apparently even richer than him. And uh, But the guy cannot pitch any product. <laughs> and people are laughing, like him and Shaq will pitch anything. And I was even listening to another radio show, and that host was like, you would think this guy needs money exactly, based on what he's pitching. So that's the that's the funny thing. You guys can Google it. Tom Brady pajamas. It's big right now. And uh, check it out. It's funny. Well, we had Habib in here talking about Ziffit. So infrared fitness to where you're doing your fitness workout, but there's infrared lighting in the room. And I don't remember the science of it, but somehow that enhances the calorie burn. Right. It goes right into your body. So you're burning at a higher to different, you know, degree of calories. So you're burning a lot more and a lot less of time. And we all want to have a two hour workout and we want to do it in 20 minutes. And that's really what this infrared is doing with Zifit, right? How do you pronounce that again? How do you, how do you spell that? Z-I-F-I-T. I know it's complicated. Okay. I just want to make sure everybody understands that. Z-I-F-I-T. Yeah. It's right here in La Jolla. Tell them Kyle Whistle sent you. He'll get you like a free training on that. Yeah, Zifit Fitness. They're downtown La Jolla. Our buddy Habib started that up here. It's cool. So it's like your typical interval training fitness class, but mixed with infrared lighting, which should, you know, instead of your hour workout burning, let's say, 1,000 calories, maybe burns 1,500 calories. If you That's can burn extra cool. calories just because of the lighting check in the that room, out. I'm all for it. Well, I belong to Orange Theory Fitness. Um, they built a new one in Del Sur, out where I live in Forest Ranch, and uh, awesome awesome class if you guys get a chance or anybody i talked about my radio show last week actually yeah. my news resolution of course like everybody has but to get the real of this you're you know, in great shape already man yeah, i don't know <laughs> I've, I've got yeah i'm a little older than you guys and i've got a two and a half year old son well you're not much older than me because our, our dads are about the same are age they? so okay. you and i are happy with yeah, my a couple kids of years. are younger than yours yeah two and a half seven thirteen is this the first wife yeah, I'm the third. I'm teasing. No, just, oh, no, 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 no. no trust We me. talk anything on Whistle Wednesdays getting here. Getting married once was tough enough. Wow. No, uh, so, yeah. I wow, would congratulations. Love to, gonna, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, that's yeah. like the age of my grandkids, boy, I'm that's thinking. What, that's right? what I waited for, so. You oh, might, the youngest you might, is a boy. Uh-huh. So you got yeah. two girls I would have had four. I was going to keep going. You were going to go until you had that boy. I going, but my wife is very happy that uh, we stopped at three. I'm sure we all have friends that, I've got a friend that has four girls. Yep. And they finally stopped. And then, unfortunately, him and his wife divorced, and they kept trying for a boy. And you know, four girls, they finally were like, "We tapped out." Oh, well, do you know there's actually there's actually I forget what it is, but there's actually some men that cannot produce actually a, a male. Well, we know there's and men so, that can't produce. We've seen that. Yeah, here I know in the that. World, yeah, right? but, yeah. I think the Chargers. You know. Oh wow! <laughs> and Mike McCoy, right? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're sitting yeah. next to a Raider fan, so I oh, can't. Uh, Raider fan. That's where, right. Where were you born? Sacramento. Yeah. All right, I get Northern it. California. I get it. My best friend was born in Oakland, that's so he's Mike's a big Raider excuse. fan. 
No. So are the Raiders going to Vegas? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's going to happen. Yeah. When, it's, when, it's the right when, deal. when the team gives uh, when a city gives seven or fifty million dollars, you run more than any yeah. team's ever received to go. The, the NFL is going to take that money. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. So so yeah. you are the finance guy. You are the money guy. Yep. So you totally agree. I totally agree with that. So let's talk about some of the investments that that you guys do. Some of the stuff you're recommending. Well, you know what I want to focus on is real estate. You know, obviously this is, there's a lot of real estate involved with this show, obviously because because of, of Kyle. Uh, great agent, great company. And and we're involved with our clients. Average age of our clients is about 65, 70 in that range. Um, you know, the older end of the baby boomers. Um, and so we deal with a lot. A lot of people own real estate and they don't want to be a tenant. They don't want to be, have tenants. We call it tenants trash and toilets, toilets and all that. Everybody uses that, that term. And it's true because as you get older, what you care about is you care about lifestyle. You care about income streams and you don't necessarily want to be a landlord anymore. So we do a lot of exchanges, facilitate a lot of exchanges for our clients to take them from being a landlord and having these, these you know, tenant issues and, and maintenance. And a lot of them don't have any more depreciation left on their property as well. So the tax benefit to owning real estate has really gone away. So what we do is we facilitate a lot of exchanges through some institutional investments that we have, or we can yield six, 7%, uh, which typically right now, Kyle could tell you that, that around three or 4% of the cap rates in, in San Diego probably right now. So we're talking like two to, two to three times the income um, and so they can get higher income streams, double their income, reduce their taxes, and not be a landlord, just collect a paycheck. Sounds good. Sign me up. Kyle. Yeah. So, right. so that that's so what's what, the catch? There really isn't one. You gotta I mean, have a little bit of money or rental the, the properties, catch, right? The catch would be you don't you know, you can't you're not there uh, you're not you're not a lot of people have a, an emotional attachment to the real estate, right, Kyle? Yeah. Um, and, and so if somebody does and they love the property they had in you know Pacific Beach for thirty years and they want to be there they to just check can't, on it. They just exactly. So those kind of clients are not uh, you know I don't try to convince somebody to do anything. I'm going to show my clients the options, and if I'm presenting it to them, it means that I, I think it's an option for them to to take it seriously. So those are the times that it's not appropriate because it doesn't matter how much I say appropriate where people are unwilling. The negative would be we do a lot of student housing. I'm a very risk averse guy in the sense I like to protect capital. Kyle knows this about me. You know, I want to reduce taxes because that's something we can do. And, and we know their parents are going to make the payment on the student housing. Yeah, this is, is, is a good, hey, good, good thing. It's but not they an, do we're this. not talking about Animal House here, right? right. So, but for it's instance, almost like Animal House. Well, I've seen some of these. Yeah, well, here's the good I, thing. I ran one of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have projects we've done at, at USC. Uh, we uh-huh. have one at Ole Miss right now. Uh, student housing is basically bulletproof economically. So when you look at like retail shopping centers, uh, commercial, industrial, uh, student housing is really a new asset class. Institutions right. are gobbling it up. And the reason we like it, because actually more people go back to school when there's recessions. Right. Um, so to answer your question on having the kids tear up the, the apartment and not paying the bills, guess who co-signs and guarantees those the parents, payments? right? The parents. And guess what? You have to sign 12-year lease, 12-month 12 leases. Right. So the concerns people have about student housing is those two things. And basically, you're, it's like you're, you're renting to... Uh, the baby boomer or to, you know, the parent. Sure. And you don't have this six months on, six months off. You have to sign your leases. So those properties right now are, are averaging between six, seven percent. There's no tax paid on the on the income because of the depreciation that, that we have inside these projects. Especially in the beginning, right? Yeah. So it, it's a it's a pretty phenomenal way to not only make a direct investment, because you could just buy these as an investment, but also as an exchange. Um, so those are probably uh, what I feel that adds the most value to what we're talking about. So I can talk about lots of different things, but real estate is always a good piece of somebody's portfolio, regardless. I like I love it. it. Again, you're listening yeah. to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170. The answer we're talking with David Reyes, financial architect. I love the title. Thank you. We it, trademarked that, so we were serious about that. Uh, do I got to pay you money since I just used to it? say that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Licensing rights, and you know. Which one's the money button? Here? I got to find my money, money button. Yeah, you do need one. Yeah, if you want to get connected crazy. with Dave, crazy. give us a call. Shoot us a text 619 663 7355. 619 663 7355. So, Dave, my dad, you know, he's as old as Jason. Um, you know, he's been around for a while. You know, he's he's been the very risky investor, but, you know, he's that guy who's yeah. getting up there in age like Jason and wants to go with something more safe and stable mm-hmm. and secure. So, talk a little bit more. Like, you know, he doesn't own a whole lot of real estate anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because he was very heavy in real estate, lost it all. At one point, he had over like 30 properties, if I remember correctly. Yeah, hundreds of units at at one point. And hundreds of units, wow. And so he's kind of, you know, ridden the highs and the lows through the market. And now he just needs a good, safe place. So talk more about the specific investment vehicle you're referencing for somebody like him. So, yeah, it's it's a direct investment. So you don't have to have an exchange. Um, uh, There's a title for it, uh, Deferred Sales Trust. We don't really care about that. 
it's just the vehicle under which it's owned, how it's owned. Um, but you're basically a, a shareholder of that. Uh, you own it. Um, but is there a minimum think, investment at all day? Most of these are. They're, I think, like 25000 I mean, yeah. our average investment in these is probably 250000 to 500000 Sure. Um, but, but what it's great for is retirement, because you can own a piece of real estate. You don't have to manage it. You get all the benefits of appreciation with the real estate. You get income streams, like I've said, between 5 6 7%. Um, cash on cash. So there's no expenses. That's what you're being distributed on a monthly basis. So it's a way to create additional income like a pension. And also uh, with certain structures, there is no tax based upon, like I talked about earlier, depreciation. So in your in your father's case, he, he could just outright buy it as an investment, just like you bought any other investment, a stock, bond, mutual fund, uh, annuity, whatever vehicle you want to, to own. So it's no different than that. It's that simple. You invest $100,000, do the paperwork. You're now a part, partial owner. I was talking about the project we have going right now is in Old Miss. Um, like I said, we were with major uh, uh, college uh, institutions, um, University of Utah. We have another project. So these student housing projects, they're literally they're like right across the street. So you right. want the most desirable so the kid can just go to class, you know, come back. And so those are the kind of projects. So mom and dad will be happy to co-sign. Absolutely. <laughs> That's exactly Absolutely. what we want. Yes. So so hopefully that explains it. Um, but it's just no different than a traditional investment, except we're buying real estate. But we're also getting great tax advantage to it. So it's better to own outside of an IRA because an IRA is tax deferred. So okay. I'd want to own it with non, non-IRA non money okay. because we're getting the tax benefit, which could make the yield after taxes over 10%. Wow. Um, so it's a definitely legitimate vehicle for somebody like your father. Average age of our clients is in, in that range where okay. your father is in the mid 60s to yeah. early 70s. Yeah. And it's a very popular investment vehicle. So speaking of IRA, if you yeah. had some money in an IRA or defined benefit plan, where would you recommend? Where are some of the ideas? I, since it's not this, this particular tool, as you mentioned, what are just a few ideas to let us know? Well, that's a big loaded question. Uh-oh. I mean, because it's the whole thing. It depends, right? It depends who you are, how old you are. You know, Do you that. need to wear depends? I don't know. No, I don't. Thing. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Um, but, you know, it, right, let me just give you an overall. Okay. Uh, the market where it's at, I think this would be more appropriate to give people more texture is that right now we have the second longest bull market in the history of the stock market. We have the second highest valuation in the market, so it's really expensive. Um, we're down to, you know, we're going in eight years. And so it's a time to be careful. As Warren Buffett says it better than I do, when other people are fearful, be greedy. Yep. And when others are greedy, be fearful. It's not a time to be greedy. That's what I can tell you. Okay, I like it. That's I great love advice. It. So if you want to get connected, David Reyes, the financial architect, give us a call, shoot us a text, 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. We will get you connected. He gave you the latest on the financial markets. When we get back, want to get the latest on the real estate and mortgage markets. Cindy Higgerson and Jason Hall. We'll be right back on Whistle Wednesdays. AM 1170, The Answer.